Hi guys, I'm gonna share with you some interesting information on the ketosis and sodium, okay? Here's what happens. Sometimes when you get the keto flu, when you're adapting, when you're just starting out, you get a headache, you get fatigue, nausea, dizzy, muscle weakness. These are all classic symptoms of a sodium deficiency. Now, it could also be potassium as well because the electrolytes uh, have similar uh, issues if they're deficient. But mainly, if you have keto flu, you should, the first thing you should probably try is increasing more sodium. Because here's how it works. Very simply, when you lower your carbs and sugar, you lower your insulin, right? Well, when your insulin is lower, you release sodium. So sodium is released through the kidney. When you consume carbs or sugar, you retain sodium. That's why you can eat a little bit of sugar and gain like five pounds. That's just fluid. But when you actually start on this program, you're gonna dump a lot of fluid because you're releasing sodium, and that's why you get these symptoms. So very simply, make sure you consume enough salt. I would do it uh, in sea salt. I would not do regular table salt, and you're gonna feel a lot better really quick, and you don't have to go through this keto flu thing, all right? Go ahead and try it and share your comments below. Uh, how about, um, I'm not sure. Just press it. Okay, that sounded crappy. Press the subscribe. Why can I say subscribe? Subscribe. Press. Press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.